my dad used to sell magazines for a living. He worked for a company that sold magazines, uh, you know, resold magazines to various and sundry outlets uh, across the world. Uh, I really haven't subscribed to any magazines uh, in uh, for a while. Uh, you know, I, I had Mad Magazine for a year. I just kind of got it because I was like, eh, I haven't subscribed to this in a while. I'm sure I'll take delivery. And of course, you know I write for CPU Magazine. Does anybody out there read magazines? Do you subscribe to magazines or you just get whatever comes in the house and you're like, oh, this is a great magazine? Yeah, that's the thing that blows me away. Like, sometimes I'll like stop payment on a magazine and know that I stopped payment and did not pay it and it's, they just keep coming. Like, they just keep flooding in. Like, I can't, st once you start, you just can't stop them. Like, there's no stopping magazines. And I think the big issue with magazines is that, you know, by the time the news reaches uh, your doorstep or your mailbox, uh, it's old news because, you know, it's got to be printed. Even weekly periodicals sometimes are out of date by the time that uh, you have them in your hot little hands. Sometimes you want to uh, create a, a magazine on a daily basis, but you want it delivered on your schedule and you just want the information that you want. And you want it, you know, in a nice, you know, let's say PDF, you know, uh, so that you could read it just about anywhere and then you could archive it, you know, for forever and ever and ever and ever, as long as, you know, PDFs could still be read, uh, you know, years and years from now. I can't imagine that format disappearing anytime soon. So what do you do? What do you do? Well, you, you now might head over here to tabloid.com. That's T-A-B-B-L-O-I-D. There's two B's in there. Not spelled like the word tabloid, the regular word. You throw another B in there, you'll be good to go. Head over to tabloid.com. Uh, you don't really need to sign up to get started with things. Uh, what you do is you add an RSS feed or a feed URL. Uh, if you know of a blog uh, or you know if you've seen the little feed icon, it's a little orange icon with white like radar emanating. Uh, you know whether it's an atom feed, RSS feed, RDF doesn't matter. If it's a feed icon uh, or a feed, a URL. Uh, you can add it here, or it's also got some presets like technology, business, politics, sports. Uh, then, once you've set up the feeds that you want to have, like we've got a handful of feeds at geeks.perlo.com. Of course, my blog's got a feed and the podcast feed. I mean, whatever feed you want to throw in there, fine. Do what you want. Go crazy. Give it an email address that you want this to be sent to. Give it a frequency, so you can set like daily, weekly, hourly, potentially. Uh, the set of time, and of course, if you depending on how you set it up, like if you do weekly, then you can choose the day that it happens to be delivered on. Save the delivery options or generate the current issue now. If I press generate the current issue now with these these feeds, uh, give it a couple seconds here. I'm looking at my invisible watch. Can you see it? Of course you can't because it's invisible. If anybody out there saw it, I'd probably be a little freaked out right now. So it's, uh, it's going to collect all the feeds, going to collect all the information, then generate that PDF. Now, I didn't give it an email address, so obviously it's not going to email it to anybody, but it should you know pull it up in the browser or preview window or however I have this uh, set to uh, actually create a, a PDF, uh, assuming that it's actually going to create it and not make a liar out of me. Uh, honestly, I've seen a lot of services like this. This is pretty straightforward, uh, simple to do. All you need is your favorite RSS feed, URLs, and they're everywhere, all right, everywhere. And if you don't know how to find an RSS feed, in your web browser, when you're on a page that has a feed, chances are a little icon illuminates. If you're in Internet Explorer, you'll see a little icon in the uh, uh, stat, or I'm sorry, the uh, address bar. Uh, whether you're using Safari, WebKit, I, I don't know if Chrome, Google Chrome supports it yet. Opera does support RSS. RSS feeds are everywhere, and and a feed doesn't have to be RSS. I mean, a feed could be an Atom feed. A-T-O-M. Uh, don't ask me the differences between the two. We've gone into that before, and I honestly don't have a lot of time to, to go into it right now. So it looks like it generated today's tabloid, personalized for you. And then we're scrolling down. Look at that. It's pulled in the feeds and the headlines, and wow. So I could take this with me anywhere. I could save it uh, forever for posterity. This is great. So hopefully you're going to be able to find feeds that have full content, but maybe you just want to see the headlines. You'll be fine with this. Um, I, I really don't know what else to say about this other than, hey, give it a shot. It may just be what you've been looking for after all these years. Tabloid.com, spelled like the regular word, but just throw another B in there, double Bs, and you'll be okay. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know any other cool services out there uh, that would be you know useful 
in this capacity. I mean, I can see this being used for a variety of reasons, uh, not just for archival uh, purposes, but certainly for you know helping with commute and uh, you know sharing information back and forth around any particular topic. You're creating your own magazine. I mean, the layout's not awesome. I mean, it works. It's clean. I mean, it's not like a you know fully produced magazine. But hey, what do you expect? It's free. Honestly, I, I love free resources. Love them. Speaking of free resources, we've got one for you at geeks.perillo.com. Plenty of things going on there if you're interested in the world of technology. But even if you're not, we've got people there who aren't interested in technology. And this is the thing. This is the weird thing. Geeks love asking questions. Like, every time I go to geeks.perillo.com, there's a different question in the forums. In fact, if I go here, geeks.perillo.com, uh, the interesting thing is the uh, 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 here it shows you the latest activity, the, the things that people are doing, and I always see... Questions: uh, Why do guys prefer blondes? For some reason or another, uh, that is a popular topic in, in a group or the forum. Uh, highest resolution of your computer screen. Uh, let's see here. So that's another topic in the, uh, uh, I guess, the forums. Uh, but people are always asking questions to get answers. So some of these questions are just not, you know, not not just tech related. They're just questions that geeks want to ask other geeks, no matter what kind of geek you are. But if you're someone who really loves talking tech, well, then you're probably going to want to stop by the chat room here. We've got it, you know, sewn into this live video experience. I'm recording this live to tape, although it's not really tape. It's like virtual tape, like virtual air quotes. I just like doing this. Even if I, you know, am not using them properly, I just like, I would like a hamburger. You have, actually, you have to do that like when you go into a fast food restaurant because it's not really a hamburger. It's like, well, yeah, I don't even want to go into that. That's another video altogether. Anyway, if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome to. You're watching this live video feed as we're broadcasting out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as I said before, we're typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.